Thank you, Mr Speaker. I rise this evening on adjournment to send a clear message to this government, a message being shared by so many Tasmanians that it is not the right time to build another stadium in Tasmania. When we are in the grips of a cost of living crisis, when members of the Tasmanian community are sleeping in their cars, couch surfing, sleeping in tents, unable to find safe and secure accommodation, when members of our community can't access the health care that they need, when teachers and nurses are going off the job because they're at breaking point, and when there are thousands, tens of thousands of Tasmanians waiting to see specialists, it is not the right time to build another stadium in Tasmania. Of all of the conversations that I've been having with many Tasmanians, both north and south, many deep, deep, deep Liberal supporters, many sports crazy members of the Tasmanian community, footy lovers, I have not found one person that acknowledges it is the right time now to build a stadium and prioritise that over the other needs that Tasmanians expect this government to focus on. And in building this message to deliver to the government, supported by so many Tasmanians, I've been clear in this last week about my um, message on this and my conviction on this, because people are calling for us, calling for Tasmanian Labor and anyone that has the ability to influence this government to bring this government to clarity so that they can now understand that Tasmanians do not want this stadium. They do not want another stadium. We have a perfectly great stadium in northern Tasmania, York Park, and there's an equally good stadium down here in Hobart at Bell Reeve. It makes no sense in the cost of living crisis that we would be prioritising as a state a stadium over the needs of Tasmanians. Now, in this place this morning, I was intentionally misrepresented over my comments around the need to build another stadium in Tasmania. And I will say this, at any point that anybody from the Premier, the Treasurer to other ministers of this state that intentionally seek to misrepresent myself or the Tasmanian Labor, they will be called to account. In conversations that I've been having this week around infrastructure for stadiums, I have been very clear. And I want to put on the record this afternoon my comments about this. In the issue of a media release on Monday the 19th of September titled Premier Prioritises Stadium Over Cost of Living, I said this. Cost of living pressures are the biggest concern facing Tasmanians right now. So many people in the community are battling cost of living pressures while Jeremy Rockcliffe remains focused on building a new stadium in Hobart. This government is so out of touch with Tasmanians. They've got their priorities all wrong. Energy and water bills are skyrocketing and housing affordability continues to get worse. Over half of Tasmanians are worried it will keep getting worse year on year. Families and businesses right across Tasmania are making decisions every day about what they can afford now and what they'll need to put off for some time into the future. While the Liberal government remains focused on a $750 million stadium in Hobart, Tasmanian Labor has been out on the ground listening to community and we're getting our priorities right. Jeremy Rockcliffe and his ministers need get, to ba get back to basics and start getting their priorities right for Tasmanians. Now on that same day, I called a media conference to discuss this to ensure that there was no misunderstanding about the position of Tasmanians or the position of myself and Tasmanian Labor. And in a 10 minute interview focused solely on the stadium and the need not to have this stadium built in Hobart, I faced 11 questions about the stadium. And in my responses, 11 times I spoke about the fact it's not the right time to build a stadium, another stadium in Hobart. Now in that 10 minutes and in response to those 11 questions, I said and I quote, it's not the right time for Tasmania to have another stadium. We're here in the beautiful UTAS Stadium in the north of the state and we know that across Tasmania people love coming to this venue for football. It's not the right time for Premier Rockliffe to determine that right now a potentially $750 million stadium will be built. So right now is not the right time for another stadium in Tasmania. Right now there are incredible resources of infrastructure here at UTAS Stadium. The task force report always said in the future we would require a new stadium. But when Tasmanians are making decisions day on day, week on week about how they pay their power bills, how they pay their water bills, how they pay their rent, people are struggling with housing. 
the health system is in crisis, education is struggling, and the Premier doesn't have a plan to remunerate those people that are working for us, whether that be our fireys, our ambos, whether it be our teachers or nurses. It is not the right time to be investing in another stadium in Tasmania. Right now, it is not the time for this out-of-touch government to be making such a significant investment when daily Tasmanians are struggling just to make ends meet. The task force knew that in the future, maybe a decade down the track, we would need new infrastructure. Now is not the right time to build another stadium in Tasmania. This service is celebrated. People love being here and playing the game here. Throughout this interview of 10 minutes responding to 11 questions about the stadium, it was very clear what my conversation was, and I will not be misrepresented in this place. This morning, when the government were asked seven questions about their commitment, their delirious continued commitment to build this stadium in Tasmania, they said 14 times, they misrepresented me 14 times to say that my statement was, we don't support new infrastructure in Tasmania. That could not be further from the truth. The government reeled off a long list of infrastructure projects that they have announced and supposedly, hopefully, will deliver and indicated or suggested that Tasmania, Tasmanian Labor are not supportive of such infrastructure projects. It is not correct to say that. I will not be misrepresented in this place. When I'm speaking up for Tasmanians from the north and the south, Liberal supporters, Labor supporters, footy, footy mad people, sports mad people, that none of them see that this is the right priority, I'm sending a message this afternoon. Do not continue to misrepresent me. Get your priorities right. It is not the right time to build another stadium in Tasmania, and Tasmanians do not want it. Thank you.